Oh! I can't believe this happened. Wow. I'm just kidding. Don't you hate it when people don't show you the results? Boom, those results. That's what's happened. Bottom line up front. We flew stuff, we crashed stuff, we broke stuff. I'm not going to tease you guys. This is what happened. If you want to see some more crashing and flying and having fun, keep watching this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Guess what I have here? Is it a GoPro? No, this is a GoPro. You know what a GoPro is. It's the thing you strap on your drone and then you crash it and you break it and you send it back to Best Buy and they give you a new one. But what if you don't want to do that? These things are expensive. Well, that's where this guy comes in. The Dumb Pro is designed so that you can use this and mimic the weight of a GoPro without having to put an expensive GoPro on your custom built FPV drone. That stands for first person view, which means I have these awesome goggles that I wear and I can see what this drone sees through this little camera right here. Maybe you're trying to shoot some gaps, do some matty flips, some other kind of cool trick, and you're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break my GoPro. So while you're practicing and terrible at it, use the dumb pro. Take that GoPro, leave it at home, keep it nice and safe, nothing's gonna happen to it. And today I'm gonna fly it around like I don't wanna come home with this drone because I don't. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. I had PCB Way custom print me this model that I made. I designed it myself and the box bottom part is CNC machined out of aluminum and that's cool because I've never had them do that before. I think it turned out great. And the top part is resin printed out of UTR 8100. It's very, very clear and I thought that would be super awesome. And we can see all the quarters and stuff that I put in there and the pink bubble wrap that I put in there to take up the space. And it looks, it looks pretty trashy to be honest with you, but it's neat that we can see it. I thought about putting a little aquarium with a little goldfish in there, but then I thought that would be animal cruelty. And if you want to get the files to 3D print your own version of the Dumb Pro, you can get those at my website, rcwithadam.com. So we're going to fly it, and either we're going to run out of batteries, or we're going to run out of drone. But either way, we're going to see which one comes first, and if this thing can survive. If it survives, I'm going to send it to one of you lucky people. We got a battery on here? Let's get our gear on and do some flying. Parkour! Ah, mosquito! Safety first and last. Goggles on, transmitter on, lanyard attached, hat turning backwards. Backwards mode activated. All right, here we go. Whoa, that gets you dizzy. Wow. All right, we, we're gonna do some, try and do some l really low flying here. We're gonna try and shoot some gaps. I have, uh, I have a lot more up tilt on it than I normally would. Let's go to these trees. All right, let's get down here. Get a little bit closer, huh? Let's go through this gap. Oh! 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 No! Oh! I'm stuck in the tree! Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if I can get out. Arming. Oh! I'm stuck! It's not in the tree, though. I fell out of the tree, which is a good thing. You'd think it'd be a bad thing, but... I'll tell you what is a good thing. I don't have my super expensive GoPro on there. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I think by the time somebody else gets this, if they get it, it's going to look a little different. Batteries unplugged. Check our props. They're on tight. Make sure the motors are on tight. Ooh, that's an issue. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, otherwise, I think it's holding up pretty nicely. Let's pop a fresh pack on here and get a new propeller. Let's go! We need to make this a little more interesting. We did get some action there, but we're still trucking. What should we do? What gaps should we fly through? You see that there's two posts and that rope? Yeah. Maybe you should try to fly through that little gap. The tiny gap where the rope is? Are you insane? Maybe. Okay. All right, let's see if I can do it. Oh gosh, that's... All right. I did do it, but can I do it faster? That's a great question. I did it again, ha ha. Can I do this gap right here? Oh yeah. Let's go back the other way. Oh wow. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. I made it. Woo! Let's go this way. I can line it up right here. Oh, yeah. How many times can I do it, though? Oh, oh. Am I okay? I don't know. Nope, I'm not okay. Go to D2, are you on? I was having some trouble taking off. It felt like it was pulling in this direction. Oh yeah, look at that. See how it's loose? Very bad. That's why you always wanna check your props after you have a crash. And as far as our Dumb Pro, it looks like it's holding up just fine. This thing is pretty ding dang solid. Uh, how you doing in there, George? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm ha it's good. It, we're having a good time out here. You should definitely subscribe to RC with Adam. Bye. I think it's time to see how low can I fly. Time for the, the let's check. Oh, it's the quarters inside. <laughs> Powering on. Oh, look. There's a scientist in the field. Whoa. I feel alive. Okay, coming in hot, coming in low, film the ground. Uh, oh. Well, that's pretty darn low. Oh. oh. Unplug. Boom. Drone is now safe. Like our go-to is kind of pointed in the wrong direction a little bit. Wow, this battery is really toasty. Let's get this thing off of here. She good. She's solid. No, I'm just going to have to like run it into one of these poles or something. This is definitely a good way to kind of inoculate yourself to crashing. Because when you go out and you have it in your mind like, all right, I'm going to crash and it's going to be awesome. Then it makes it way less scary. In turn, you're able to do things you would not otherwise try, which ultimately will make you a better pilot, which ultimately is going to make it less likely that you'll actually crash when you don't want to. So it's a win, 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 win. This is the FPV camera right here. This, this sends the feed to my goggles so I can see what's going on. You'll notice this one is kind of tilted up at an angle. For these types of drones, they usually have a fixed camera angle. The more tilted up it is, the more you can still see even when the drone is tilted forward. And that's how the drone flies faster, basically. You tilt the drone forward and then you go We found this old, what is this thing called? Bleacher. We found this old bleacher thing right here. Can I just get through this like this? Wow, I actually did it. Now, oh, we're definitely showing that uh, this thing can take some abuse. We're gonna do one more flight. And all else, maybe I'll, maybe I'll fly it. <laughs> what a cute idea. Well, it seems like it survived everything we've thrown at it so far, but this is our last pack. So we really gotta make it count. This looks like a real good pull to kind of crash into. I don't want the drone to know. I don't want George to know. Don't tell them, but we're gonna crash them right into the pole. All right, you ready for this? We're gonna go right past the pole. It's gonna be great, okay? You guys are gonna be fine. Taking off. <laughs> Let's play a little game of like, kind of chicken, I guess. Let's see how close to the, that pole we can fly uh, without like hitting it. Oh, I lost. <gasps> no. George. <gasps> no. You okay, George? I hate you. George is unresponsive. That was actually quite surprising. So check this out. Really nice CNC aluminum bottom plate. That's all good. Ooh, this part. I guess that was the weak point in my design. That was surprising. And let's put our engineering nerd hat on right now. So you can see that we had these two holes uh, where the screws went through on either side. Anytime you have the holes there kind of close to the edge, that's gonna be a weak point. It's funny because the way that I had actually designed this was for everything to be 3D printed. Having this bottom plate out of aluminum, that makes it so that that's the strongest part and this top part is the weakest part. But if you actually 3D print it, the bottom plate is actually the weakest part because that's the easiest to replace. And that's a good point too, because check this out. We had our Dumb Pro on here and it saved the rest of our drone because it really took that impact, I'm gonna say. That's, I'm gonna say that's, that's what saved this drone. Everything else is okay. We're flying along, bam, took it right there. And also goes to show that if you had a GoPro, 
this is probably what your GoPro would be like, broken and sad. So sorry, everybody, you're not gonna get one of these. But hey, you know what? I'm gonna 3D print one of these myself. I'm gonna use some really good, probably 3D fuel filament, very strong. So leave a comment down below if you are interested in winning one of these, and then I will pick a winner, and then I'll contact you or do something. I don't know, read the description below for like more details on how that's gonna work. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me here at RC with Adam Industries. I think we had a pretty good time. We crashed some stuff, we uh, figured some stuff out, and most of all, we had fun and learned more about the meaning of life, and I feel like you're just getting way too close to me. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to get me, and wow, who would have thought the Dumb Pro on your drone can actually save your drone and then nothing bad can happen to it? Cause like this thing, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what happened? And then your Dumb Pro, oh, I did it, I did it again. And remember, have fun with friends, crash some things, get out there, fly something, be safe, be respectful to other people's property. And if you want to see how I ordered this part from PCBWay, I made a video specifically showing how I ordered these parts from PCBWay. I'll have a link to the, that video in the description below this video. Video, video, video. Thanks for watching, hanging out with me, and I'll see you again very soon. Again, I'd like to thank my son for being the cameraman. He did a fairly decent job, I'd say. We're gonna actually see if he can kind of fly it. I mean, I'm expecting him to crash it and just what that looks like. So bonus footage, this is what we're gonna do. Here we go. Okay, your arms. Holy crap. Oh, this is fun. Can you come back? There you go. I, okay, easy, easy, easy. Easy, oh jeez, oh my. Well, congratulations. That was your first time flying a five-inch real drone. Yay.